A scripture that has been ministering to me right now is from Romans 12. I was reading in the message this passage recently, and I can't tell you how much it spoke to me and how much of it spoke to me. Um, every other verse seemed like it was intended right for me, speaking right into my life as a mom and um, as a writer, as a wife. This part particularly hit close to home for me. It's right after Paul has finished talking about how we all have different roles and functions um, to play as part of Christ's body. And it says, So since we find ourselves fashioned into all these excellently formed and marvelously functioning parts in Christ's body, let's just go ahead and be what we were made to be without enviously or pridefully comparing ourselves with each other or trying to be something that we aren't. And it hit home. I, I confess that um, discouragement and discontent can creep into my life at times and I can uh, be tempted to compare myself to others in a way that um, just brings me down and is so unproductive. And I love that this is a reminder that we were made to be different. We can't really be compared apples to apples with one another. Even as Christian writers, we all have a completely different voice, and we should. We have a little different ministry. We have a little different readership. And God intended it to be that way so that he could reach different people through us. And then finally, he says, try not to be something that you aren't. I feel like it's a call to be authentic, to be real to embrace who God made you to be and the beauty in that. And so to me, all of these verses were just a, a, a challenge to get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with the work that you've been called to do and the role that God has entrusted to you at this moment. Get on with it joyfully and contentedly and in a real way embracing who you are.